What's going on everybody? My name is D-Pad Gamer, and I gotta say, I love easter eggs in video games. Cheats, secrets, and hidden content can be found if you just look hard enough. Banjo-Kazooie is a great example of this, so sit back and enjoy. The first easter egg can be found as soon as you turn on the game. When you choose a file, Banjo will usually turn to the screen and give a thumbs up. Each file, however, has an alternate animation that can play at random. This game has a bunch of cheat codes that you can mess around with. We have to make our way to Treasure Trove Cove, which requires at least 50 notes, 2 jiggies, and all 3 abilities taught in Mumbo's Mountain. Here in the cove is a sand castle, and to drain the water, we'll deposit 2 eggs into Leaky the Bucket. Once inside, follow the hints on the wall and pound out Banjo-Kazooie. This will let us collect the jiggy and murder the evil crab. We'll need that jiggy for later. In this room, you could enter a ton of cheats. Each is done by pounding out letter by letter the correct code. The first three cheats we'll look at are only available after we find Cheeto, the floating wizard book who is hiding throughout Grunty's lair. Near the Freezy Peak puzzle, enter the tunnel as the crocodile after the ice block has been destroyed, so you'll have to go here at least twice. Finding Cheeto inside will unlock blue eggs, which increases the maximum amount of blue eggs held from 100 to 200, along with a handy refill. Next, in the lava room, follow the small winding path to a small tunnel as the pumpkin. This nets you the red feathers code, which increases your max red feathers from 50 to 100. And finally, in the rusty bucket bay entrance room, raise the water level to 3 and then make your way to the alcove before time runs out. This unlocks gold feathers, which increases your max amount from 10 to 20. The next set of cheats requires to go and play a minigame, so let's do that. Head all the way back to Banjo's house and use the up C button, or Y if you're using an Xbox 360 controller, to look up at Bottle's portrait above the mantle. This is what we needed that Jiggy for. Bottle's will congratulate you on finding his hidden moving picture game. There are seven rounds, each harder than the last. After each round, Bottle's will provide you with a code, which I will show on screen. Here is what you get as a reward. The above effects will disappear after quitting the game, and the minigame must be replayed if you want to reactivate any of those bonus cheats. You can actually complete the game as normal with any of those effects activated. The last transformation, granted after completing the hidden round 7, is Wishy Washy Banjo. You can play as a detergent guzzling washing machine. This form comes with a few gameplay changes. It cannot use the green rain boots or the running shoes. It can travel through otherwise dangerous terrain without taking any damage damage, but it cannot hold things such as Blubber's Gold, and its attack range is reduced. If you have any grand ideas of completing the game in this form, be warned that once you reach Grunty's Furnace Fun, you will be forcefully transformed into Banjo. What a bummer. Moving on, the following cheats are all related to Stop and Swap. While the whole video could be devoted to this crazy game feature, here's the short of it. Stop and Swap was a planned connection between Banjo-Kazooie and its sequel Banjo-Tooie, where you would collect 6 mystery eggs and a large ice key in the first game and transfer them to the second game by removing the first cartridge and immediately after inserting the second cartridge. Due to revisions in the N64 hardware, the window to do this was lowered to about 1 second, making it impractical. The following cheats allow you to unlock the ability to collect the eggs and the key, but just to let you know, if you do this in the N64 version, nothing Nothing happens when you collect all items. However, in the Xbox Live Arcade version of the game, this feature was properly reintroduced, and there's even achievement for it. We still aren't done with possible cheats you can input in the sandcastle. Be warned, the following cheats will stop working after you save and quit, and if you do any of these in the Xbox 360 version of the game, you will no longer be able to save, and the leaderboards will not be updated. Warning: The following codes are considered illegal cheats. You can only enter a maximum of two illegal cheats. If you try to enter a third without quitting first, Grunty will warn you to stop, otherwise she will delete your save data. This is not a joke. Enter a third and say yes to Bottle's final warning, and that is it. You can continue playing, but when you quit the game, game over, or reset, your save file will be gone. I am not joking, I tried it out, and here you can see, I had my save file deleted. There are way too many codes to list out individually, so go ahead and pause if needed. In Treasure Trove Cove, Snacker the Shark bears a striking resemblance to enemies named Chomps in Donkey Kong Country. Oh, and if you didn't know, you could actually kill him by hitting him with eggs from the shoreline. In Bubble Group Swamp is Tip Top the Turtle, who appeared in Diddy Kong Racing as a playable racer, as did Banjo. In Mad Monster Mansion, Captain Black Eye appears in a picture. He was the villain of Project Dream, 
the cancelled action adventure RPG which was later redeveloped as Banjo-Kazooie. In the basement, there are barrels labeled 1881, referencing the game Attic Attack, another rare creation which has similar barrels. The music sheet seen on the large piano in the abandoned church is the first eight measures of the Mad Monster Mansion theme. In the shipmates' quarters of the rusty bucket bay, there's a pinup picture of Barry, Conker's girlfriend as she appears in Conker's Pocket Tales. This was later replaced with a picture of Conker in the Xbox 360 version of the game. On the back of the ship, you can find the words Twycross England, which happens to be where Rare's headquarters is located. And finally, in Click Clock Wood is Naughty the Beaver, who also appears as an enemy in the Donkey Kong franchise. And that about does it. This is my first time making this sort of video, so let me know what you think by leaving a rating down below. And if there are any video games you'd like me to cover, go ahead and tell me in the comments section. Be sure to subscribe for more content like this, and if you're in the mood for it, click on screen for more Banjo-Kazooie videos. Have a great day, and thanks for watching.